Catch Amazing Minds Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, 20 hours Central African time on YouTube, Google, Apple, and Spotify for podcasters. Zambia's first late night show. been long i started the show like this yeah this is actually the original way to start the show how are you doing guys how are you doing you can leave it in the comments how you're doing tell us if you're a blessed guy girl in the comments um right pulled some coffee yeah so um you're welcome to amazing minds zambia's first late night show camera seems a little too close uh, if you're not subscribed, please do subscribe, hit that bell and share. The show is available Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, 20 hours Central African time. And you can listen to the podcast on Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, and Spotify. Yeah, I am here with Mr. Chofaya in studio. Yeah. Um, how are you doing, sir? I'm good, man. I feel recharged. You feel recharged? Yeah, I had quite an eventful week. Yeah. Okay. And, and weekend. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Mm. Yeah, so as you know, Monday is the political segment of the show. We are not going to take too much of your time and we'll get straight into it. Today we have a number of things we're discussing on the show. To start with, we are discussing the police summoning a Catholic priest and immediately retracting the call out. Then we'll discuss the DEC unearthing what could be the biggest scam in the country. Ooh, I tell you, we have been through a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Interesting show today. What do you think? Yeah, I think so. It's been a while we had Mr. Lungo on the show, actually. Oh, you seem to like him. <laughs> uh, no, I don't like him. I just like to read about him. <laughs> ah, I think I know what you mean. Uh, not that I dislike him. And I just... I know, no, I'm not now. It's mm. it's even... It's it's not about him. It's not about liking. Uh -huh. or what, yeah. uh, you get it. Yeah. You're sharp, you. <laughs> 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 yes, yeah, so... Um, during Easter weekend, we had a Catholic priest who gave a very touching, passionate sermon that did not seem to settle well with the police uh, on the copper belt at all. Take a look at the video. Hey, good Friday, Mzambia, ya chilamu. Ama la ita tuwe cha ya tuwa shite jense ti. Ni mwata tukune nechi ya kushani, na fish tule shani na. Eh? Tule shani nye ine mzi, tukwe cha kilo kishe ti. Oyo mle shani na yu. Friday. 
Jose Chalu, Jukum Tengo, if you shall want Mamsan, you may go to Friday. The Mayam Museo was three to Jibaja, Mulatimo, Munavara Chivarenda Museo. Quite a Mabo Tay. Eh, they go to Friday. You go to Friday, this way to the movie. You go to Friday. Yeah, that was the father urging the people to recognize that they are not living in the best of conditions presently. Ne good Friday. Ne good Friday. Ne good Friday. Ne good Friday. Yeah, that doesn't seem to me like reason for them to call him in. What do you uh, think? Yeah, These two my videos, they went viral after yeah. he was called by the police. Or they only went viral. Yes, after, after he was called by the police because mm. uh, this was, I think they had a live mass or something during the Easter period. Because ah. yeah. you can imagine this happened during the Easter period, but mm. it only, uh, people just went, the people just came to know about it recently. Yeah. Yeah. So what I think is that probably said a lot more things. Uh, I still think that uh, it's, it's... I think if he said more things, they should have highlighted that very part that was arrest worthy. No, because this thing is it's just people who've grabbed those parts, you know. I also it's understand not the police that, that produced I also video. understand that there is this general belief and notion that mm. Catholics have so much influence and therefore whatever political party mm -hmm. they speak for mm -hmm. is likely to scoop the ballot. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know if you've heard people speak that way. Yeah, but you know, the thing is that uh you know, during the PF we had yeah. the, the Catholics uh coming in uh to to talk about these civil rights, you know, how people are living in general. The Frank Lopopas of this world. Yes, the, the Teles from Pundus of this world. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, I yes, of course. I to recognize the letter he wrote. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I, I don't think really it's even about being partisan or anything. I think because, you know, sometimes they... And, and uh, the truth is that sometimes these priests can be sensational. Yeah. Overly sensational. Yeah. Uh, but also I think that, you know, it's their calling also to speak on behalf of the people mm. and to talk about what is affecting the people really. Mm. Yeah. So, I mean, for, for the video that you've seen, if there's load shading, I mean, load shading is something that is there and we need to talk about it. Yeah. Yeah. So it doesn't matter who's talking about it. it, it it's, it's only that this uh, gentleman here has got more influence. So this same man, by the way, Father Mukosa, is someone who has been talking about uh, these things. He's yeah. been talking about civil rights and all those things since time in memory, even during the PF. Mm. The same man. Mm. Yeah, so to me, this did not do the police any good. No, I don't yeah. think it did. It just shows them up to a great extent. Oh yeah, and also them retracting the statement afterward. By the way, before before we, we tell you, you know, I keep looking that side, forgetting the camera is here. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm gonna go up, but this is the first time. <laughs> Guys, if you like what you see, press that subscription button and then notification bell, like a like. Yeah. So that a lot more people see this. Yes. Mm. So uh oh, I've got this unruly lock that keeps <laughs> I need to like tuck it into it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh he further went on to remind them how they are unemployed and for some of them they are Yada 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 take Taking a look. care of the husband. Ewa me, tabu bomba mu. Mula bomba ibo. Tunde mbache esi de mushisha mushisha kutu salaki, tusha kwa kumbishe, bami na bafu mbu bishia. Tete Good Friday. Ine mbala kati kuzana kwa bafu pa Good Friday. Tete. Tete. Abantu mbu bali la yeye chitu la ibapela. Ine Good Friday na yeye na yeye. Tete. Hey, well, I think that the things that he said, as I already said before, uh, these are things that are people really are affect. sponsoring their husbands, apparently. <laughs> yeah, these are things that are affecting society, indeed. Yeah. yeah. So, I think is uh, as I said, there are sometimes when they get sensational. Uh, I think that uh, you know. So, there was an argument from yeah. the UPND. Let me just say, the UPND supporters. There was an argument that, you know, uh, this Catholic uh, priest, when he's in church, he's preaching to people 
of different uh, beliefs and uh, not beliefs per se, but people who belong to different political parties. Political inclinations. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So we could have a lot of people there who support UPND and they might feel attacked. Now, do you want to take that in the church? Because now you'll be pushing for, like you'll be, you'll be promoting bitterness. Yeah. Know? Yeah. I think, and here comes our Bible talks lesson. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah exactly. We needed it. <laughs> I think uh, people also always think, always associate or disassociate the church from politics mm -hmm. because they believe that if someone is spiritual, then they should have nothing to do with politics. Mm -hmm. And one thing I cannot stress enough is that Jesus' ultimate assignment has always been political. And when he comes back, he's going to take over the world politically. Therefore, Jesus wants us to have political influence in the world. So I do believe that people, men of the caller, uh, are in their place speaking on political issues. Yeah, I also think so. Yeah. Uh, I also think that it's important that we, we look at also the other side of the story. If the people are saying that uh, this is making me feel bad. And some people, you've heard of stories where people stop going to church or to that church because mm. what the priest said or what the pastor said is not good. Yeah, but, but it always makes me wonder when someone stops going to church because mm. either the pastor or a fellow mm. believer did something to them, mm -hmm. makes me wonder whether they in, in a relationship with the church. No, the point Jesus? is that if someone is giving a sermon or a saving mass or yeah. giving homily, uh, if they start saying things that are going to hurt you, you know, it's, it's not about them, you know, it's about you. You are going there for the message, the homily. And then what they start saying is instead hurting you. You yeah. are justified to move. No, but you, the Bible says the word of God is like a double edged sword. Mm -hmm. It pierces. The word of God has that effect. Mm -hmm. By the way, I'm not supporting that the police uh, summon yeah. this man. As yeah. I said in the first place, it actually just shows them up. Yeah. I'm just saying the other people also, it's it's important yeah, to hear them out. I, I, yes. I do legit get what you're saying. Mm -hmm. The only thing I think is that the world is becoming sensitive and it's spilling over into the church now. Mm -hmm. uh, there should be room for rebuke. There should be room for hard words. Mm -hmm. There should mm -hmm. be room for uh, people to hear things that will hurt their feelings, but they should still stay because that's mm -hmm. what builds character. Mm -hmm. When you're able to withstand. Mm -hmm. what, what do you think about the retraction? They they said they realized so, you know, later uh, on that he does not, in fact. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, so to me, actually, uh, as just uh, <clears throat> an analyst, I would uh, think that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. I would think that the police retracted. Are you asking me why I think the police retracted? Or no, why just, do I I'm think about it? Yeah, I'm thinking okay, about it. Okay. Mm. Yeah, so I think that, first of all, I think they did it because there was public uh, uproar yeah. or backlash. And you, you understand because, you know, th there's a way in which uh, Catholics hold their the priest in high priest. regard. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, in high esteem and all those things. So oh, he's a, he's a father. Is there a difference between a father and a priest? It's the same thing. Oh, it's the same thing. Yeah, so father is like the title. So he's I, I father Chewe Mkosa. Then priest? He's a priest. But when you're addressing him, he's father. Oh, okay. Okay, yes. it's like the way a judge is called your, your owner, Yeah, right? something like that, exactly. Okay. Yeah. So there are a lot of Catholics around. Uh, so... We expect that those people will, will go for the police, you know? Yeah. Because, yeah. Uh, and also, outrightly, I think this is, uh, this is gagging, you know? This is... Uh, uh, this is Muzzling. Yeah, muzzling, stepping mm -hmm. on uh, the, the, the freedoms of expression. Because next time, someone will be afraid to talk about load shedding. Load shedding is, has got nothing to do with UPND. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, what I mean is that load shed is UPND. Yeah, yeah. Actually, when people he, talk about load they are not talking, they are not, not insulting UPND. Directly, yes, exactly. Mm. He did not die. That's that was where my question was. Like, uh -huh. why did he need to be called in? Mm. He did not directly speak of the president, mm. or at least in the clip we watched anyway. Yeah. Or the party. Mm -hmm. Um he did speak about leadership. Yeah, he spoke so, about leaders being yeah. liars as well. Yeah. Mm. So uh this makes me wonder, is mm. it now this thing where you're just trying to make an example of someone so that people so, don't have mm -hmm. the, the, the guts to speak? Yeah, yeah, that's my point. So that's how it looks. It yeah. looks like now they want to show us that, as we will see also in the coming stories, they want to show us the police that if you want to talk about the things that are affecting the country and that will make the government unpopular, we will stop you. Yeah. 
Yeah. Expect a call out. <laughs> How dare <Okay>. you <laughs> expose? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So uh, this past week also in a much relieving on a much relieving note given the phone calls we receive on a regular basis about how they have sent us 500 kwacha and they are seeking for us to send them back 490 <laughs> 495 and keep the five kwacha <laughs> yeah can you imagine the drug enforcement commission uh, in collaboration with other law enforcers have done a bust on sophisticated internet fraud so this was um a joint effort in trying to at least relieve the Zambians of sending people. Have you received messages like that? Of course, uh, even phone calls. <laughs> <laughs> even phone calls. Eh? Yeah. I course. watched. I watched a short clip on mm. Facebook mm -hmm. of a scammer calling a scammer. Oh wow! Well. <laughs> yeah, and so <laughs> he was like, "No, no, no, we're in the same business, actually." <laughs> uh, really? Yeah. Now you know, we have been trying, but <laughs> now you course could be one of these funny guys. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, because even myself, when I was called, and then I'm on Uzi, I was like, "No, no, 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 <laughs> and he was a zina. Now, was like, ah, but eh, eh, I think he was the good dad of us. And why are they? Manasova. Nina Congo. You had the Nasova loan. <laughs> yeah, actually, I, I heard that in an advert. <laughs> I did make it up. <laughs> Serious. <laughs> <laughs> an advert against this fraud thing yeah oh they've gone that far as to make advert yeah of course on radio <laughs> yeah uh, oh they are teaching they are sensitizing the public on yeah, how to respond exactly <laughs> <laughs> I think about money. Uh, <laughs> so the drug enforcement commission in co collaboration with other law enforcers has burst a sophisticated internet fraud syndicate which it has termed a significant breakthrough in the fight against cybercrime, which has resulted in the arrest of over 70 suspects, among them over 20 Chinese and a Cameroonian, without risking uh, defamation. Zamkash, mm -hmm. would they be involved? Anyway, <laughs> probably unrelated that this happened uh -huh. and Zamkash closed. Because oh, Zamkash, Zamkash closed? was owned by, by, by Chinese people, not so. I don't know, but Zamkash closed? So it is rumored. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Are you hearing this for the first time? Yeah. Uh, no, the country has been celebrating. <laughs> Zam cash clothes. <laughs> Actually, I saw someone write, I think, on Facebook or something. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't it unusual? Linking the two, eh? Yeah. Yeah. I saw a post by Kazen Skita. Yeah, because Zamkash was mm. the Chinese people. And the number of ladies they had in their premises were about seven. <laughs> 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 I don't say much about this, but I just want to say good week. But oh, it's this oh one. no, the money they would have used to sue us, people didn't pay back. Yeah, so. <laughs> but Dick. <laughs> but Dick, this is good job. This is a good job. Yeah. This is good job. This is good job. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good job, but Dick. Uh, uh, Nason Banda, is it Nason Banda, the director? Yeah. Please. Keep it up. This is the kind of work we want. Investigative authorities, keep it up. Because our want to vote. Yeah. People are stealing from innocent people. How not capitamo? So please to papa tamu achita we know epa shiri pa kuleka. And you know another yeah. thing I should mention is that you know this could be part of a larger syndicate. Okay. Yeah. It could be that we actually have several people operating in several countries. But maybe uh, it's because of the movies that I've been watching. But yeah, it we could might be. as well get a telephone line here. Try one or two things. Yeah, since actually <laughs> up, uh, things have gone down. The market they, is they, for us now. It's open. <laughs> 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 they think that they, we don't have scammers anymore. <laughs> hey, that's what they think. But, uh, <laughs> by the way, if you're not subscribed, please do subscribe. Hit that bell and share. Mondays, political discussions. Wednesdays are the educative segment. By the way, you have a lot to catch up on on the educative segment of the show. Uh, we, we've done a lot of rebuttals. Lenshina, yada, yada, yada. Mm -hmm. While, while you are waiting for what we have for you. What we have in store. Trust me, we have something in store. But mm. yeah. And Bible Talks, uh, which of course has shifted to the other studio, mm -hmm. is also we're doing a Personality of God series. Yeah. Catch that. Check that out. 20 hours Central African time Fridays. Yeah. Hey, like what you see? I know you do. Hit the button below to subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Ciao.